Hello McLaurin friends. I'm gonna be honest, this is the third time I've attempted this video because something's gone wrong in the first two attempts. It's basically video number one because we never got past the beginning bit. It's been a bit of a nightmare this morning. It's gone going, I'm so organised. But anyway, onwards and upwards I suppose. The show must go on. Is this the show? Is this the Emma show? Welcome to the Emma show starring Emma as Emma being Emma. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. And um, a bit of an update. There isn't one. <laughs> Nothing in my life has changed since I last spoke to you. Um, I've been doing some applications. I've been productive with that. I've got a couple more I need to do today. And I also need to update my CV for one of them. Because luckily I have a CV that's pretty up to date. I just need to add on the library. But I've been playing a lot of PlayStation. I need to talk to you PlayStation dwellers out there about Until Dawn. Oh my God, I've been playing it. My friend Lauren lent me it. It's amazing, it's terrifying, and it's amazing, and it's fucked with my brain so fucking much. Yes, I need to swear that much. It's ridiculous, I've got about three hours left until dawn. Crazy, it's so fucking crazy. You don't know what until dawn is, basically it's a game, I can't remember what kind of game they're called, but it's decision based, so the gameplay changes based on the decisions you make, and you've got to make them quickly, because there's two decisions and you've got to make them quickly. Otherwise, you run out of time, and I don't know what happens if you run out of time. I've been too scared to let that happen. I mean, I'm not the most decisive. Of, sorry, I've got some out of my glasses. I'm not the most decisive of, decisive of people anyway. But this game, oh my god, it just plays on your conscience. You learn so much about yourself. It's crazy. I'm I'm not okay with it. I mean, I am. I love it, but I'm not okay. I'm too scared to play it on my own. Um, so I'm going to play some more before when Blake gets in from work because I am a wuss. It's officially autumn guys, just to change the subject. I can hear the wind, it's very very windy here and that just made me think of autumn. It's autumn, it's time for the button ups and the jumpers and I'm so fucking happy about it. I just posted an Instagram about how much I love autumn fashion, like a little thing about how I feel a bit shit guys, I feel a bit shit about myself lately, put a bit of weight on because do you remember a while ago I posted a video about how I don't really like food and the food gives me anxiety and stuff well I kind of I'm getting over that slowly and so I've been eating and I've been cooking I put weight on and stuff because I've been eating properly because my mental health has been getting better and I've been doing all these really wonderful things so this being by myself thing you know doing things for myself and not really relying on anyone else has been really good for me but it, it's obviously I've put weight so for this incident with the food I've put weight on and I don't really fit into any of my clothes. I, it has a bit of a shit effect on you, doesn't it? When you don't fit into something that you used to. You know, like a fuck and I bought a size 10 skirt and then I just got to size 12 and I know if anyone else is watching this, they're like, oh, just quit your fucking bitching, you're only a size 12 and it's like, yeah, but I'm only small. I was used to being a size eight for a very, very long time. It's just this other kind of issue I have with myself. Um, but I decided, basically my Instagram was just saying I'm deciding to own it and it's autumn and I fucking love autumn fashion so I'm happy with that. Um, that got very in depth very quickly. Uh, I blame until dawn, it makes you think about shit more. So yeah, that's what's been happening. I've been playing a lot of video games, doing job applications. Oh my god, yesterday we went sofa shopping for the new flat. Oh my god. It's the most adulting I've ever done. I found it so exhausting and it hurt. Obviously with the endo, it's right in my hips. So standing up and sitting down lots to try sofas was a bit of a nightmare. I found a sofa though. I'll show you it right here. This is the sofa we're getting. We're gonna get a matching chair and the footstool and we love it. We both really agreed on it. So we're buying the sofa. That's, that's and a chair. That's basically what we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Again, very boring, but it was very happy. I was very proud of us both, actually. I'm very proud of me for making a decision. Oh, what other tabs have I got open? Oh, I've been... I'm a bit obsessed with the idea of buying orange trousers. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, what the fuck are you on about orange trousers? Well, I've got this idea in my head of it being autumn, so I want some orange trousers. Don't know where I've got it from. I just want that. So I'm doing some online shopping right now trying to decide if I can justify buying, spending £35 trousers. 
that I'll probably end up just wearing for work. It's all fun and games in my head, it really is. But yeah, I found some nice ones. They're only 16 actually. 16 pound. Do they have them in my size? Oh no, oh. Oh well I'm not buying you one on new look because they only have size 8s available and I'm, as I said, I'm now size 12. So, fuck. God damn it. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. You've seen my online shopping dilemma. You've seen my consciousness dilemma. This really is, or was, the Emma dilemma. Because I'm no longer the Emma dilemma. Just Emma. Okay then guys. I'm going to go and stop talking at you now. This has just been a lot of me talking at you and I'm sorry. Anyway, I love you all. Take care and I will see you next week.